Hey everybody, this is Joshua Keenan Greenwood. I am the senior pastor and the overseer here at the Empowerment Center Church, churchfreedom.org, and I'm also the author of this book right here called The Corporation Soul, Freeing America's Pulpits from the Restrictive 501c3 Laws for Churches. It is the first book in American history that has ever been written in regards to the corporation soul and modern day tax law. It's available right now if you go to corporationsoulbook.com. Today we got a question from somebody that asked us, they honestly asked us, uh, Joshua, if I get a corporation soul, does this mean that uh, I have to continue to pay taxes, or does this mean that I never have to pay taxes or file taxes ever again? Uh, that's a very good question. It's a very honest question uh, that we get asked quite frequently here, <laughs> um, and the answer is is. Uh, you have to understand that there is a difference between you as an individual person and the church and the corporation soul. There's a huge, significant difference between your personal tax liability and the church's tax liability, which it has none because it's not liable for taxes. A church is neither nonprofit or for profit, it is literally tax exempted. That's the first and foremost thing you need to understand about the church. The church is not for profit and the church is not nonprofit. I get people asking, us all the time, my church is non-profit. No, it's not. It's neither or. It's tax exempted. There is a difference. Um, and so for your personal tax income liability, uh, you are required by law, if you are a taxpayer and you have an, a, a personal income tax liability that is required by federal law to be filed at the end of the year, uh, you are required to file that for your personal income returns at the end of the year. Now, you might have questions, well, what if I'm a pastor? What if I'm a minister in a corporation? So I want to pay myself as a senior pastor. Okay, we actually answer that. Uh, it's on our on our YouTube channel. So if you just like scroll down the videos, trust me, you're going to see one of our videos and it's going to talk just about that. In fact, I think the name of the video is Minister Step In Salary. Uh, so look for that video. Uh, so, so, but, but in relationship to your personal income tax liability, uh, the answer is, is that you need to file every year that you are personally liable uh, for personal income taxes. You need to file. 100% you need to file. We will never advocate not a single solitary bit. In fact, here's how you'll know whether or not there is someone, what they call, the IRS calls a corporation sole peddler. The differences between us and them is those guys will say, you don't have to file. Uh, those guys will say, no, you don't have to file. Just get a corporation sole. You just dump everything into it and pay us $15,000. You don't need to do that. Okay, That's a scam. That'll get you sent to federal prison for the for a charge of not only uh, willfully evading taxes, but in addition to that, you are conspiring, since it takes two parties to, to make a conspiracy, conspiring to defraud the federal government of taxation. You don't want to do that, okay? That's really bad. You will totally regret that later on if you go down that road. And the people that are trying to sell or peddle uh, those false corporation souls, those those sham corporation souls, that's what they are. They're sham corporation souls. They're not legitimate corporation souls. They're not a bona fide corporation soul. They're shams. Uh, those things are illegal. You need to stay away from those. If you want to know how to lawfully, legitimately set up both a bona fide church and a bona fide corporation soul and use it for its actual intended purpose in ministry, then you need to get this book called The Corporation Soul. It will literally answer Every single solitary question you can't even think to ask. You're watching this video, I'm telling you, you can't even think to ask me 50 questions that are inside this book that you didn't even know to ask. If you even thought, and, and, and you could be a veteran, you could be like, well, I've known about the corporation soul for years. No, you didn't. Okay, because no one had ever published this book, no one ever reviewed case law history, no one had their facts straight. Every single other person that talked about corporation souls before us did not have their facts straight. In fact, they didn't. They didn't even understand the for, the IRS and the courts have a fourteen point test. So even if you knew about the corporation soul, did you know that the IRS and the fort and the courts have a fourteen point test? Did you know that if you establish a church through a, through, a de, uh, through some sort of declaration or, or, or statement 
we use a church establishment affidavit, that you have to lawfully fulfill those 14 points or else your church can be considered a sham organization. So, so folks, there's all sorts of knowledge that's contained inside this that people don't even, haven't even thought to even ask. And folks, this is the accumulation of helping. We're first off, we're partnered uh, here at the Empowerment Center. We're connected with over 76 thousand churches across the United States. We've had over 26,000 churches that have opted into our website, of which we have thousands upon thousands that have, uh, have, have used our materials uh, in their native states or in, in their states or in their local jurisdictions. And folks, this is from thou tens of thousands of support related requests. So this, this book right here is accumulation of literally all the compendium of knowledge related to the corporation. So from beginning to end, it'll help you with absolutely everything. Uh, if you'd like to find out more, if you've got a act, if you've got a question, leave it in the comment box below. Leave that question. We'd love to answer. If it's an original question, we'd love to answer it here on our channel, which is another reason why you need to subscribe to our channel. So make sure that you click that little subscription button uh, that says subscribe right up by our channel, or if it's somewhere in this video, click it, or if it's somewhere anywhere, click it, because we want you to stay informed and updated related to everything regarding church freedom, setting churches free from 501c3 and the corporation's soul. Thank you so much, and God bless.